Yo, what up, y'all? I know it's been a minute. I've been gone. Work, you know how it is. Um, while I was gone, a gang of parts sent to me. Um, I can finally kind of get back into getting this thing finally, finally buttoned up, at least engine-wise. Got a turbo, got my intake manifold. Uh, I went ahead and got a BC adjustable cam gear for the front. Um, I got my engine mounts for the E46. Um, which ones did I do? I can't even remember which mouse I did. Anyway, I'll show those later. So I got all that. I got a couple of measuring tools. I'm gonna use the, uh, when I'm degreeing the cam and stuff. But uh, like I said, it was pretty much finished as y'all saw before. If y'all remember everything was, got the cams in, got my lashes and stuff adjusted, got my uh, turbo manifold. I am gonna cut off this uh, square mount they have. I'll probably just cut something off here and flush mount one that I'm looking at. Um, all that's really left is to get this last gear and I was trying to color match that. Uh, it's, it's close enough. <laughs> Um, the VV tag gear. If you remember the last gear I had, I actually cracked it. I threw it in the trash. I probably can't even find what I did. Oh no, it's right here. So I threw this thing in the trash. See, I cracked it. It cracked right there somehow. Um, so I got another one off eBay. Uh, and that was just, uh, I replaced the seal in it and everything. Uh, I kept that body of the old one just in case something happens, but um, got that. So I'm going to throw that on, get the belt on there finally. Um, then I can just go through getting my timing situated, green the cams. I also got um, coils. I just went with the, uh, what was it, the G35 and the um, R35 coils. Um, Obviously, I'm gonna have to try to make some kind of, make my own plate here. I'll figure that out once I get to it. But uh, I got a sheet of aluminum. I'll probably mock, mock one up with and then I'll get like a carbon fiber or something sheet and uh, cut it out of that and finish it. Uh, I took those AN fittings I had. I had the ones that came straight up, so I'd have to screw the AN fitting on the top, which would have made it kind of high, I think. So I went with these like straight um 90s and then i can just actually have the an going on the side but it'll make it a lot shorter than um the other ones because these were the other ones they were already the same height and that's without the actual an fitting and the, the curve it would have took to get the u or the 90 degree all right so i know i talked about the slew of parts i had oh, i'm sorry it's so messy in here um so i just got back so i've been throwing everything there and of course I couldn't just get back and not do anything I had to get back and start messing with this car so I was engine but it's my turbo it is an eBay turbo <laughs> um, I think it was VS Racing or some one of those brands something close to that it's basically a Borg Warner the uh, S series S300 series a 369 basically replica is what I'm gonna call it supposedly it's dual ball bearing it's a billet wheel, um, and it's dual scroll, twin scroll, my manifold with twin scroll. So, um, figure what the hell, I think it was like 700 bucks, but I uh, mean, it seems to be pretty good quality. I had, like I said, I had the rear housing coated, uh, Sarah coated uh, while I was gone. And as I already said, I'm going to have to, I'm going to lop this off so I can get a, uh, I'm gonna get a different um, wastegate. This not this four bolt flange style that this has. Um, only issue I had is since it was such a big turbo, the housing was hitting kind of here. But this did have that little sticker because this is an ex excess power, whatever one of those, you know, um, Chinese uh, headers I believe they're made in China. But this is the. Uh, Schedule 40, this thing is hella thick. Um, so I think it was at least better to get this one than the other one. I'll see how it works. But it had that little plate here that was a little bit thicker. So I kind of cut those tacks off, took that off, and then tried to just maybe shave a little bit of this down. I'm going to get this coated as well. 
but I just want to see that I was going to give me some extra uh, room. I didn't try to put the housing back on yet because I was um, coating that also to match. Um, wasn't really planning on going this go. I was going to dip this in the same as the uh, valve covers, but when I did it, I didn't really, I didn't really like the way it looked. So I took it off and just figured I'd match it with the gears there. Like it so far. My intake, I got, um, once again, this is another uh, made in China intake. I like it, it's a deep motor. I've seen a couple people run them. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on just to kind of see how everything will look. You see, it's not bad at all. Just a typical aluminum style intake. Seem to be done pretty well. See well through the inside. So it looks like at least got some good penetration on that. And the ports that I can use later for whatever I need. Uh, I think that's idle control valve there. It's supposed to go there or something, but um, I'm gonna put all this on to see what it looks like. Well, it doesn't look too bad. I'm not gonna go through and bolt everything up or anything, but I say it has a nine mil intake, a throttle body, excuse me, in here as well. So I have that. Fuel rails in here. Nice fuel rail, got AM fittings with it. I'll probably get some different ones because I think they're like dash six or something. And I want a little bit bigger. Um, well, the last thing I gotta do is, like I said, figure out this coil setup. I'm gonna look at that. I just kind of wanted to see what it was gonna look like. Um, not too bad. You know, I got my gears and stuff on. I'm gonna go ahead and actually time this engine so I can get the belt on. Uh, what I wanna do is, I kinda actually colored the dot, but it's since I painted it, but it's a little dot here. Uh, I marked it so I can see it. And then my line right here, where is it at? There we go. My crank, so I'm gonna have to rotate the crank around and line those two up. Um, then I'll do the same on the cam gears. This one, like I said, this is the BC cam gear. Uh, the aftermarket BC cam gear. And with this one, I just want to line this mark. This is the top dead center. This is obviously if I wanted to advance, the size retard in the middle right here, zero. This is where my normal dot would have been on the old um, cam gear. And it needs to line up with this hump right here. And you see, it's pretty close. I got to come back probably just a little bit. Then on the VVTI gear, I'm going to be lining up the line, not the dot. So I rotate the cam around, obviously make sure the VVTi gear, it has a little bit of, I think about 30 degrees rotation. You wanna make sure it's locked clockwise like this, and then rotate it around and line it up with it, with it locked clockwise. And I think, actually it should spin back. I think, you know, if it spins back, I think it'll be lined up with the dot, but like I say, when you spin it back clockwise, is how you want it. It'll be lined up uh, with the hump here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Go ahead and kind of move that one back. And then got my dot lined up. Like I say, it will rotate back this way, but you want it, you want to make sure it's locked into place going clockwise. And that's where you're gonna time it at. Got it lined up. And then I got my um, crank gear lined up with the dot. I got this Gates to be performance built so i'm gonna go ahead and slide this on i'm gonna start with the uh because this is the tight side so i'm gonna start with uh putting the belt on vvti gear looping it down to the crank then i'll try to slide it on the uh slide it on the uh exhaust cam side should be good to go try to do this and not get in the way sorry so this in here i say i'm about to move kind of trying to this is the last thing I wanted to kind of do before I actually started packing everything up in the garage. So, but like I said, I'm going to start with the uh, DVTi cam gear. I just want to make sure this is actually on here where the word is upright. Not that it really matters, but. All right. So I can 
I said, I want to get this as tight as possible on this side. I think that's pretty much it. As tight as it's going to get there. If I did it right, it should slip right on here, which it does. All right. And I'm just once my tension is on there, just gonna pull it tight. pull this it's no going back Just kidding. so let's see if I can get this to work now Should have actually been going a lot slower too. I didn't even really think about that. So forgive me. Make sure you do this slowly just in case it was off. It's one revolution, still there. Two, that's the dot, sorry. I was about to say, no, what happened? It's two revolutions. All right. So I got two. I went a little past the crank, but Let's see if it matches up. My dots up here match, my dots there match. I'm gonna go a few more times. I just did a couple more revolutions just to make sure Everything stayed, so camera's on, torque the 58 foot-pounds. The VTI gear all the way clockwise lined up with that. I have my zero mark on my VC cam gear lined up. Cam gear there is lined up. I am gonna go and actually degree the cams. Um, not gonna do it right now, of course, but that'll be what I do when I get back. So I'm pretty much good with this. Still gotta do my coils, which I said I got the uh, R35 coils. Still need injectors. What else do I need? Wastegate. Um, feel like there's a few things. ECU, of course. Wiring. I got a wiring. Um, I do have a wiring connector kit. I'm gonna try to build my own harness. And let's see what else. For the, the major stuff, that's all I can think of right now. I still gotta figure out the trans situation. I forgot this, this is the uh, TR6060, but it has the integrated bell housing and front plate cover. So I couldn't take it off to put a different bell housing on it. So I may either send it out to get a Magnum swapped and they will be able to put that face plate on now and she get the slip yoke on the back. Or I may just try to sell this and uh, buy a whole kit, like a Granite kit or something. Thought about putting this in my SS. Um, should actually fit almost right up, but uh, we'll see what happens. So I got this done. 
I'm gonna put some of these covers on for now. I'm gonna say just going in storage for a little bit until I get done with everything. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure I got it timed and got that taken care of. So now that's done, I can put these covers on for now. I'm gonna take them back off when I have the degree cam and stuff, but just to kind of protect some of this stuff. While it's in storage, I'm gonna wrap it up.